Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number four from the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P3 paper from um, LXL International A Level. This question here is about uh, logarithms and exponentials. It says a new mobile phone is released for sale. The total sale of this phone in thousands, and there we have to be careful, is in bold type. All right, we have to be very um, aware of that. So the the value of n, whatever n comes out like here, it says when t equals 0, n equals 32, it means 32,000, okay? So if they say, what's the number of mobile phones uh, when time equals 0, you, you don't say 32, you say 32,000. Okay, when n equals 32, that means it's 32,000. So it's very important when we answer our questions not to get thrown off by that. So the total sales n of this phone in thousands is modeled by the equation n equals 125 minus a times e to the power of negative 0 0.109 times t, where t is greater than or equal to 0. a is a constant, and t is the time in months after the phone was, was released for sale. So the time in months, so again, we've got to be, um, take care of that, that in case you don't know what type of units they'll give the time in later on so we have to be aware all right so it says given that when time equals zero n equals 32 state the value of a so basically when time equals zero you have 32 equals 125 oops 125 minus a times e to the power of and this is going to become zero and we know e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we end up with 32 equals 125 minus a. So if you want to find what a is, you can add a to both sides and take away 32 from both sides. So it's 125 minus 32, which it looks like is going to be 93. Okay, so a is equal to 93. All right, so that's the value of the constant a. Okay, 125 minus 25 is 100. 7 left to take away. So yeah, 93. Now, for part B, that's part A done. Now for part B. It, sa it says, given that when T is equal to capital T, when the time is equal to capital T, okay, the total sales of the phones was 100,000. Okay, so that means N is equal to 100. Just what happened to the pen there, sorry. That means N is equal to 100. Okay, because... The total sales was uh, 100,000 and N is in thousands, okay? So that's where you got to be careful. I'm sure if I read the examiner's report, it will mention that many people used N as 100,000. N equals 100 because you got to divide this by 1,000 because if N is 100, that means there's 100,000, you know, so, um, phone sold, okay? So that's where you have to be really careful with a question like this. So find according to the model the value of T, Give me an answer to two decimal places. Okay, so when t equals t, n equals 100. And our formula was n equals 125. n equals 125 minus 93. We found the value of a, so we can write that. a is a constant for all different values. e equals minus 0 0.109 t. e to the power of minus 1.09 t. Just to make sure that's right. 1.09, ah, sorry. Be careful not to make silly mistakes. So it's minus 0.109t. So one last check. That's correct. Okay. Now, we have to um, find what um, the value of t is. So let's put these values in. So n is equal to 100. So put 100 here. You have 125 minus 93 times e to the power of negative 0 0.109 capital T. So we've got to find what that T is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to both sides and take away 100 from both sides. So I'll have 93 e to the power of negative 0 0.109 T equals 125 minus 100, which is 25. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 93. So e to the power of negative... 0 0.109 capital T equals 25 over 93. Now, what I personally like to do next, which 
you know, not everyone does this and you don't have to do this. What I personally like to do next is to, I like to write this as a positive um, power. So I write this as it's reciprocal. We know the reciprocal of, you know, a to the power of minus one, the reciprocal is a to the power of a to the minus n, the reciprocal is a to the power of n. So the reciprocal of e to the power of minus 1.09t is e to the power of positive 1.09t. So if I write this side as it's reciprocal, I must do the same for the other side. So the reciprocal of the other side is 93 over 25. I just wrote the reciprocal of this to make this a positive power, and therefore I write the reciprocal of that. You don't have to do that. It's perfectly fine if you don't. That's what I personally just feel comfortable doing. Now I want to find t, which is trapped in the power of this number, this number called e. This is a number which has a value, which is something like 2.81, whatever. So what we need to do is we need to take the log to the base of this number to help us answer the question in a quick way. And log to the base of the e is the same as lin. Okay, that's what it means. So we're going to find the lin of both sides, in which case this side will become 0.109t equals, and we have lin of 93 over 25. So t is going to be 1 over 0 0.109 times the lin of 93 over 25. Okay, and that will give us our value of t. So we have 1 over 0 0.109 times the lin of 93 over 25. Okay, we get the answer as 12.0525. 12.0525, okay, which we have to round to two decimal places. Okay, so two decimal places will be 12.05. So we can say t is equal to 12.05. And there's the answer for part um, B. Okay, that's the answer for part A. And there's the answer for part B. All right, now, um, at this stage, we could have just done, you know, we could have taken the lin of both sides at this stage. Okay, if I had done that, I would have got minus 0.109t equals a lin of 25 over 93. And then I would have said t is equal to minus 1 over 0.109t times the lin of 25 over 93. And it will give me exactly the same answer because uh, the lin of 25 over 93 is just negative of the lin of 90, 93 over 25. So the negative and negative will be positive and you'll get the same exact answer, right? So it'll be exactly the same. If I put that in my calculator, I'll get the same answer. So it really doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just used to doing that. I like to keep everything positive if I can, like the powers and then continue. That's all, all right? So there's no, no issue if you didn't do that at all. Now, for that's part B. Now for part C. Okay, so um, it says, find according to the model the rate of increase in the total sales when T equals 7. Give me your answer to three significant figures. Okay, so we have to remember that N is measured in thousands. Okay, so we have to keep that into account when we write our answer in the end. So we have N equals, the model is 125 minus... 93 times e to the power of negative 0.109 t so it says the rate of increase the rate of increase when t equals 7 so the rate of increase is basically the change in the number with respect to time so we have to differentiate this the ndt so when you differentiate 125 it becomes zero it's constant when you when you differentiate e to the power of x for example it becomes it stays as e to the power of x but if there's some sort of function inside it, all right, then it becomes k times e to the power of x. So you, you, you differentiate it, it stays as it is. So first, you leave it as nine, negative 93 e to the power of negative 0.109 t. But then you have to multiply by the differential of what's inside the function. So you multiply by minus 0.109, okay? And then that should give you your value or your equation for dn dt. So I'm going to take negative 93, Oops, well, just 93 times 0.109. That gives us 10.137. That's 10.137 times e to the power of negative 0.109t. That is the NDT. We've got to find the NDT when t equals 7. So when t, the t equals 7, the NDT is going to be 1.0137 
e to the power of minus 0 0.109 times 7. So let's see what that gives us. That's supposed to be a 10, sorry. Be careful. Okay, so we have 10. Um, can I just keep typing or not? No, I can't. So I'll say 10.137 to the power of times e to the power of negative 0 0.109 times 7. That gives us 4.72. 653, 4.72653. That's the rate of change of the number of um, the of sales of phones okay, per month. But the thing is, this is the NDT. Now, N is measured in thousands. So we should multiply this by a thousand. So this is going to become, so therefore we can say that the, the rate increase in total sales, so we can say the rate of sales increase is going to be equal to 4726 4726.53 which to 3 sf is going to be 4730 okay that's going to be the rate of sales increase so every month this is how much it's going to increase by Okay, so there we have um, the answer to the total sales increase. So we have to give this in terms of, you know, uh, in understanding that N is measured in thousands. So we don't write 4.72 or 4.730. We write 4,730. Very important we understand. That's why they had this in bold type in the beginning. And many people would have messed up the, the question we just mentioned. And also this question. Okay, because of the fact they didn't consider the fact that n is not this number, n is okay, n is like that number is a, you know, is a number of thousands of something. So if it says 100,000, n would be 100, for example, as we mentioned earlier. Okay, now for part d, it says the total sales of mobile phone is expected to reach 150,000. Okay, it's expected to reach 150,000. Um, using this information, give a reason why the given equation is not suitable for modeling the total sales of this phone. So our model is n equals, it was 125 minus 93, 125 minus 93 e to the power of negative 0 0.109 t. That's our model. Okay, now let's look at this model. Right? Now, I know that this model will give us a value which will reach 125,000 as a maximum value. Okay, I can see from the equation, right? This is worth one mark. So if you, I guess if you just wrote that down, that would be fine. But how did I know? Okay, there's two ways of knowing. One way is just without understanding and just writing this equation and putting e to the power of. Okay, and you put minus um 0 0.109 and then you choose a value of t that's really big let's say like 100 okay you see it's getting close to this you can go further you can let's call it a thousand for example just make t bigger and bigger see it will reach 125 this is going to reach the maximum it's going to just it's going to be, approach 125 it won't actually reach it to be honest really okay that'll be an asymptote but you can see that when putting a large number for t gives us okay the limit to which this reaches all right so if n equals 125 so we can say n equals 125 is the you can say the um the limit of um sales therefore 125,000 phones because remember it's a number of thousands is the maximum okay um sales according to the model according to the model okay all right which is 125,000 is less than 150,000 therefore is not suitable it's not suitable for this particular information here all right so um, how do I work out algebraically without just putting that in the phone well I'll show you how that 
works. So you have 125 minus, and I'll write this as 93 over e to the power of 1.0, sorry, 0 0.109 t. Now, I know that if I make t something really big, like if t approaches positive infinity, then e will approach also positive infinity. e to the power of t, sorry, e to the power of 0 0.109 t will also get really, really big. It will, it will become something really infinitely large because if you raise e to the power of something really big, all right, it's going to become really big, right? So that means that you're going to have n equals 125 minus 93 over something really huge, okay, infinitely big. And we know that 93 over infinity approaches zero. If you divide something by a really huge number, it's going to get closer and closer to zero. So if 93 over infinity approaches zero, that means n will approach 125 okay therefore 125,000 is the maximum okay is the maximum sales according to our model according to the model okay which then you can say the same thing is less than 150,000 so not suitable to model this information okay so there we have the answer to part d and that concludes question number four from the October 2023 P3 paper from um, Edexcel International A level. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the part of the screen over here at the end of the video. Other questions from um, the topic of exponentials and logarithms can be found in the playlist over here. It will appear at this in this area at the end of the video. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here that shows you how to use the channel to find um, the index um, documents which have links to different things that you might be interested in finding. Thank you for watching and see you soon.